Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be unboxing something a little bit special for you all. Uh, I got a notification uh, in my inbox today that one of my packages had arrived. I had actually, earlier this month, or last month, April at this point, purchased both the new Blu-ray for Mori Calliope, uh, you know, the special box set that she kept pushing on us, so I caved and bought it. But I also bought the Cinderella vinyl, because uh, when I first got the Cinderella CD, there wasn't a vinyl out for it, but apparently at some point, she released a vinyl for it. So I bought both of them at the same time. Um, and then I got the notification and checked my mail and had this package. Oop, don't show that. Um, in case there's another address on there, I don't know. Um, but I got this package and it's pretty wide. Um, just for scale, like there's my hand. It's pretty, pretty big and flat too. So like, um, you know, with, without these flaps, it's pretty flat. It's flatter than that even. Um, but you can see, I was thinking this was the vinyl. Now, prior to this, I actually got a notification or an email from them saying, hey, the Blu-ray is going to be a little while longer. So I was like, all right, well, I got the vinyl first. I'll get the Blu-ray whenever I get it. Um, but in the notification saying that my package was delivered, it said that this was the um, Blu-ray box set. And I was really confused because I'm like, this is obviously the box for the, um, the vinyl. And it said the Blu-rays delivered well i was like well whatever they're probably gonna sort it out at some point i'm probably gonna get both of them at some anyway so it doesn't really matter which one gets delivered first but i get home expecting my vinyl and i open it up and bada bing bada boom there is the uh new world new underworld in order uh blu-ray box set um much to my surprise they use this big old box for it um <laughs> it really didn't need all that space but maybe they're trying to trick some people um, so yeah, I'm going to be unboxing this for you. Um, really loving the aesthetic. I don't think my camera is picking up the color quite right. Um, it is sort of classic Calliope Mori. Not hot pink, but like almost hot pink. I don't know if I, don't know if I can get a better like color shading on that or whatever. Maybe with a different setting on my phone's camera. But there it is. Um, the logo there, New Underworld Order. It's her major debut concert. Um, hope you guys got to see it live. Um, I actually did not get to see this live, uh, which is why I was so excited for this uh, box set. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this. There's a nice outer film on it, keeping it protected. Oh, I actually thought that... Um, that this uh, black writing here was actually on the film. Uh, I thought it was on the film, but it is not. It is, in fact, on there with the logo. That makes more sense, actually. Um, but yeah, there you go. Here's the full shot of it. Um, love the artwork um, and the logo. Again, I love the logo there. Um, the skull there. Love it. Hope you deadbeats love it, too. There's the set list. There's a lot of them in there. I'm really sad I didn't get to watch it live. That's why I was so uh, excited to get this, though. And again, the logo. Oh, the colors. The, the pink writing on the on the Peach logo there. Ooh, so good. Anyways, without further ado, let's crack into this bad boy. Oh, I guess I should get a shot of the side. Yep, Blu-ray. Whoop-de-doo. Some more data there. Same thing on the other side, nothing on the top and bottom. So let's crack this open. Let's put stuff that to the side. I'm doing this on my couch because it is the most convenient place for me to put my camera. Oh, and right there we have the tap tapestry. That's why the box had to be so big, presumably. Uh, let me actually get this out first. I'll set that right there. Ooh, oh, it's, I opened it upside down. Oh, God. Spoilers. Spoilers. There's the Blu-ray. Let me get this out real quick, and I will show you what it looks like. Okay. Well, I actually was going to, um, like, stand up with it, because I thought it was going to be a vertical one. But since it is horizontal, I can actually show it to you just like this. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty cool. You've got 
Calliope Mori right there in the center. And all of these deadbeats. I'm so jealous of all of them. We got to see it live. Um, but yeah, let me get a close up on this. Starting here in the left hand corner. I love the, uh, the Bone guys. Mr. and Mrs. Bones showed up for the concert. Love that. Again, that uh, logo. Some pretty sick logo widge right there. You know, Girl Mori just absolute beast on stage. Like nine feet tall it looks like <laughs> she does look a little bit bigger than she might um otherwise but hey she's she's the grim reaper's apprentice she can be big if she wants to be the other bone brother right there and uh yeah it's uh made out of a really nice fabric um it's thin and light but seems pretty durable and maybe even a little bit stretchy in case you needed to get it into a frame or something Probably hang this up somewhere in my room. Probably won't frame it or anything, but it'll go good over my desk or something like that. And finally, for the grand reveal, the moment we've all been waiting for, the good old Blu-ray. No longer blue. Apparently it's in a black box now. Apparently that's the cool new thing to do. I thought um, the black boxes were for the like 4K Blu-rays, but apparently not. No, they're just using for normal Blu-rays as well. But that would be pretty cool if we got a um, 4K release of this. Unfortunately, I don't believe that's the case. Again, we have the um, the set list here. The lighting's not great here, but I'm doing my best. And if we look there, you can see the um, the date and Universal Studios. Uh, still can't believe that she got signed with Universal. I mean, that's that's a pretty big deal. Let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Obviously, the disc uh, can't show that to you. Uh, you gotta have to blue. You're gonna have to buy the Blu-ray yourself if you want to see what's on there. Um, but I can show you what's sort of in here. And there's the set list again, and some screenshots from the uh, the concert there. Oh, oh I see a sheep. I see a sheep girl rapping with her reaper rapper friend. Down there we have the whole myth gang. Love it. Love it. Again, I did not see this live. I have not seen most of this. I've only seen the bits and pieces that you can find um, posted by Hall Live officially. So it's going to be good to see all this um, finally. screenshots again our big reaper she's you know obviously on the screen there but <laughs> much larger than uh any of the uh people there hopefully she doesn't step on anybody reaper in our other outfit i love that outfit on her especially in in 3d on stage i think that fits her so well there it is again all right i think yeah next page is a note I'm going to be reading that note. You'll have to find out what it says yourself when you buy the Blu-ray. Hey. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I like, speaking of which, hold on. I like how this is, um, you can see sort of behind there that there's like right, right behind this little attachment thing. It's, it's pink. And I think that means, yes, the back of that. Oh, it's got the logos on it too. The little teeth marks. I love that. I love it when people do creative things with the back of these. Um, it's just a nice little thing I've picked up over the years that I like looking into when I get new discs, video games or DVDs or anything like that. Sometimes they leave little little designs or something on the back. Sometimes they'll have even a different cover, an alternate cover on the back of it. If I can get it back in, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I've ruined it. No, it'll go back in. She'll She'll get back in there. I hope I haven't ruined it. Perfect. Just like new. So, yep, that's all there. Um, we've got that little screenshot book slash set list book and the Blu-ray itself. Um, I'm going to go watch this and see how I like it. Um, and maybe I'll post another review on this uh, if there's interest, if I get more than, you know, 
more than 10 views on this video, then hey, I'll, I'll upload a, a review of the concert itself. But besides that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, oh, I was thinking about making a video on Hollow EN Connect as well. I will be going to that in July. So, um, and I hear that the Discord, the fan Discord is actually make, thinking about making a fan meetup before then as well, before the concert. So I might make a video on that as well. We'll see. Um, you know, I'm not really too active um, in the community as of right now. I don't really have any friends that are in the community. But I would love to see if there's interest in uh, me talking about it or discussing it with other people that are going to be going. Or even just making more content like this where I review the things that I spend probably too much money on. Uh, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you're thinking about picking it up yourself, I don't think the limited uh, box is available anymore, but I'm pretty sure the Blu-ray itself, just the Blu-ray, uh, is still available. You just won't leave a tapestry with it. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.